Hello everyone, this is Swag Nozzle, and the Elf City is finally here. This video will be outlining the Traherne. They are the mining and smithing clan camp in the Elf City. Now the Traherne have a ridiculous amount of experience and awesomeness to offer you. Starting off, we've got the Sarin Stones. These are similar to chopping ivy for woodcutting, but for mining. It is kind of early in the day, but I've been hearing reports of upwards of 200,000 experience per hour when it comes to mining and a decent amount of smithing during that, but we'll be getting to that in a second. From the Sarin Stones, you will receive Corrupted Ore. This Corrupted Ore can be used on the furnace in the Traherne camp to get free smithing experience. Now, there's a little thing that happens every hour where the voice of Saren will be illuminating one clan camp or another. If it's in the Traherne camp, you'll be gaining extra experience whatever thing you're doing. Now this activity could be mining, could be thieving, or could be smithing. So definitely take advantage of the clan camp when the voice of Saren is over it. Somewhere on your screen you'll be seeing the clan camp's insignia tell you which camp is activated at that current time for the next hour. My suggestion would definitely be to use that aura to, once you have a large amount of the corrupted ore, just take one hour and do complete smithing that hour. Just maximize experience as much as possible. And you know, smithing's expensive anyway, and free experience and even more free experience is even better. Now let's head over to the gym rocks. Now, everyone's familiar with gym rocks, you know, they've been in game, you know, just randomly around, but we never really found any worth to them. Well, now with these you'll have a small chance to actually receive uncut onyx. Now uncut onyxes are about one mil right now, which is nothing to laugh at. That's a large amount of gold for just training mining. Something else you can receive from these gem rocks are the spirit gems, all the way up to Dragonstone. These help with summoning. While creating pouches, you'll be able to save charms, so, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's head over to the regular ores. We've got a lot of adamant ores, mithril ores, and coal. During when Saren is singing over the Traherne camp, they will also have a chance of giving you corrupt ore. There are also two rune rocks that you can take advantage of. They're super nice, but obviously the respawn on runite ore is super long, so definitely take advantage of them when you see them, but you probably won't be seeing them all that much. If you're interested in the title of the Traherne, all you have to do is mine 100 corrupted ore from the Saren stones. And also on top of that, by smithing the 100 corrupted ore at the furnace, you'll be able to talk to the leader of the Traherne for a free 50k smithing experience lamp, which is more than awesome. Now onto the last feature of the Traherne. This is pickpocketing their workers. Now this works like in any, any other camp in the Elf City, but what you'll be able to receive from them are steel bars, adamant ore, coal, and gold ore, and also dwarven stouts to help you along with your mining. There's also a chance from every camp to receive brawler's gloves of the respective skills that the clan uses. So for instance, for the Traherne, you'll be receiving brawler's gloves of mining and smithing. I'm not sure if the rate increases depending on if Saren's voice is over the camp or not, but just roll with it. Now let's talk a little efficiency. So while mining the Saren stones, ideally you want to put on your exoskeleton suit from the quest and thieve from the workers of the camp between, because you have a chance of getting mining brawlers and those are amazing experience, they'll just boost your experience out the window, so why not just use your three attempts for the mining brawlers and the smithing brawlers between mining every 20 minutes. You lose nothing. It's perfect. It's amazing. Obviously, you might want to take more advantage of the Saren's voice for mining or for smithing between that, but I mean, it's really up to you. I'm not really sure if you get any benefit on thieving for chance on brawlers during the Saren's voice, but hey, it's whatever. Definitely, experience is good wherever it comes from. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a comment, like, or whatever you want below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. And don't forget to get them gains.